Colon cancer is the third most common cancer in the United States. Research tells us that diets higher in saturated fats and lower in fiber put us at increased risk of developing colon cancer. Today, I'll be going over some foods that affect our colon health. First up, we have red meat. The American Institute of Cancer Research recommends that we limit our red meat intake due to a correlation with increased risk of colon cancer. Our red meats include our pork, our beef, and our lamb. If you are gonna choose to consume red meat, we recommend limiting it to about 12 to 18 ounces per week and choose the leanest cuts possible. Or you can stick to the leaner meats, which include chicken, turkey, and fish. Next up, we have processed meats. We suggest that we avoid processed meats altogether because of their high link with colon cancer risk. Some of our processed meats include hot dogs, breakfast sausages, bacon, pepperoni, uh, salamis, and unfortunately, most deli meats. A quick pro tip to help you cut back on your deli meat intake is to keep a shredded rotisserie chicken in your fridge to top on salads and sandwiches throughout the week or to use canned tuna for a quick high protein option. Next up, we have white bread and other products made with white flour. White bread and white flour products offer calories and carbohydrates, but little else in terms of nutritional value, namely fiber. What we should be aiming for is 25 grams of fiber per day if you're a female, or 38 grams of fiber per day if you are male. To help you accomplish this, choose high fiber whole grain products like whole grain breads, crackers, and pastas, as well as other whole grain options like whole oats, quinoa, and wild rice. Next on our list, we have sugar-sweetened beverages. Consumption of sugary drinks is linked to higher rates of obesity and overweight. Sugary beverages have a lot of calories typically coming from the sugar itself. In an eight ounce soda, we are usually getting more than a day's worth of our added sugar. In addition to sodas, also watch out for added sugars that sneak into sugary coffees, sweetened teas, punches, and mini fruit juices. Opt for low calorie, low sugar options. Lastly, let's talk about alcohol. Alcohol is a known carcinogen, and we know that it increases colon cancer risk specifically. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter if you choose beer, wine, or liquor. All contain ethanol, which increases inflammation in the body and has an impact on various disease processes in our body that are linked with increasing cancer risk. If you choose to drink, we recommend limiting it to no more than one drink a day for women and two drinks a day for men. And keep in mind, a serving of alcohol is either five ounces of wine, 12 ounces of beer, and one and a half ounces of liquor. If you frequently consume many of the foods that we talked about today, that is okay. It's never too late to make changes and adjustments to your diet to protect your colon health moving forward.